Uh, hey, everybody. Oh, my name is Emerson Chow, and today is my day off of work. So, I've been receiving a lot of emails asking me about 2D animation techniques, and thanks for the guys of 2D Lab Studios in Brazil. I have here uh, a scene set up in Tumboon Studio that I really would like to show you about some techniques using puppet animation and classical animation. Well, uh, this is my screen of Tumboon Studio, uh, to know Tumboon Animated Pro, and here I have my timeline. So, this is the frames that I have, uh, that I had already set up. Here I have my, my whole animation. They asked about three different actions. One is look backward and become scared. Then the character needs to take this stone and throw it away. And the last one is going to the chair, he's gonna sit and he give up and he decides to stand up again. So this is the whole animation that I did. I like to make my pencil test first as a classical animation because I, I really would like to see the flow of the animation, the flow of the movements of the character, especially in this case that is a puppet animation. I'm gonna show you here uh, some libraries, some parts that the guys from To The Lab did. And uh, one thing that is, very, that is very important that you have to remember, it's the limitations of the parts of the body because uh, with a classical animation when you have uh, the, the freedom to draw every single frame you can do everything that you want but with puppets we have just parts and here it's the puppet that the guy did and I already did some key frames here the, the main poses as you can see I like to draw in one layer all the sketches and in another one I will match the the pose of the characters and here you can see what's going on and he's ready to catch the stone on the floor and throw it away and that's what I'm gonna show you in real time right now so here I have, uh, I'm going to turn off this layer first, just to show you the, the parts that I have here of the, of the character. Um, I have the body and some different drawings here. And for the eyes, for the eyebrow and feet, well, uh, we have some very cool shapes here that we can work with. So the first thing that I do, uh, I create a new keyframe here in Tumboon you can press F6 and I'm gonna turn on again my sketch layer, my reference and I'm gonna start to set up everything here. So I'm gonna push his body a little bit down and I'm select the leg and I'm have to try to match the best way with my reference here just the feet or I can turn on my onion skin uh, my onion skin so I can see where is the floor that I'm trying to match in this case I'm not worried because of the the stone that will be in front of the character. So now the arms. This is uh, an anticipation movement. So before it goes down, he needs to take some impulse. Uh, and the head, I'm gonna turn it a little bit. So here we can see. I'm going to the next move, the next frame, the next keyframe exactly, and another 
F6 and set up everything again. So now I can see that he's bending the the spine. So I'm I'm looking for uh, for a shape that I can match. This could be great, but I have to flip it up and reposition it. I'm gonna select the this part here and the arm I have to reposition again. this and uh, I have to bend the knees a little bit more and he's starting to match as you can see here so once that you that you match every single keyframe you can tween you can create the interpolation of the frames but for this video I'm gonna show you only what is done that is the main poses and of course after that I can check the timing of the animation because I can see that um, sometimes he's moving too fast or too slowly so I can correct all these poses and the timing and especially for the face because he's like uh, freezing here so I can select another shape for the mouth like this and reposition it here and I can see what is going on now and uh, this is how we do the puppet animation with Toon Boom Animate Pro uh, this is the second version and I hope you like it see ya